Here we go, the 83rd country, Armenia. From Tbilisi, I took an overnight train headed to Yerevan. On the train opposite me, there was an elderly Armenia grandpa. Despite the language barrier, I can feel um, his friendly and kindness. I stayed in the lower bunk on the train. Uh, upper bunk came with an Asian guy. He looks so familiar to me. And then I realized that I met him on the train from Baku to Tbilisi as well. When he was uh, uh, making his bed, and the Armenia grandpa and I tried to tell him avoid taking uh, that broken pillow, but he already took and all the stuff from the pillow came out. Armenia grandpa and I laughed. The Asian guy saw we were laughing, so did he. Um, when the officer came on board to check the passport, I noticed the Asian guy who stayed uh, on the upper bunk didn't talk but uh, with his hand posture showing he is a deaf and dumb. I was surprised uh, uh, because uh, that was my first time to meet a deaf and dumb backpacker. So we used the English writing to communicate. He's original from Japan. At the moment, he was traveling around the Caucasus. I asked if he feel found out uh, a bit challenged to travel in his con- own condition. He answered yes, but still he likes traveling. Then he showed me a visa paper from Abkhazia. I was surprised again, since I know the immigration officer is supposed to take that back when people disembark from that area. But he told me he wanted it to keep it for memory, so he explained it to the officer and it works for him. I was impressed by his lovely smile when we were communicating with the, the writing. And then for sure he inspired me to visit Abkhazia. And then I arrived in Yerevan at early morning. Uh, I contacted a cab surfing host, but he can only meet me in the evening. So I was waiting in the train station because I, I had no local currency. I'm waiting for the exchange office and the public toilet to open. While uh, waiting, I found out uh, there were like three Chinese I met uh, from the train um, from Baku to Tbilisi as well I met them so we met again and they were waiting for the ticket office to be open in order to purchase the return ticket from Yerevan to Tbilisi I mean they just arrived but they just 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 needed to sort out the return ticket first so um, and after that then they needed to go to the car rental company to take their rented car because they were traveling with the self-driving. I helped them and to translate while buying the ticket. And since no train arrives at the station, so the waiting area needed to be closed. People from the station asked us to go to the train station museum. There was an old Armenian man inside the museum. He was very friendly and he sent a song for us even and then uh, allow us to store our luggage and uh, explain the, a little bit history about Armenia. In return, we also sent a song for him, um, a Chinese song. And one of the Chinese natives told me, um, if I don't have much plan for Armenia, I, I am more than welcome to join them. The truth was I really don't, I really didn't plan much because uh, I did no research and uh, I only contacted the ACS host. I mean, carriage surfing host. So eventually, I decided to join them for the self driving tour. The three of us uh, came to the car rental company, pick, picked up the car, and then came back to the train station to pick the to pick another teammate. And then we went to a local restaurant, had food with some other Chinese people who they met uh, earlier when they were traveling in Iran. And then one of the Chinese sisters took me to the nearby bank to exchange money and then we left everyone heading to 7-8.
We arrived 7 a.m. in the afternoon. We stayed in a guest house just next to the lake. After checked in, we went to a monastery for sunset. On the way back, we uh, went for grocery shopping, made dinner ourselves that night, and there was a couple from Slovenia. We invited them to join us for drinking, and then they got drunk. <laughs> So the next day, we ha- we had him to Nagarokarambon on the way. We were uh, we paid fine for uh, exceed the speed limit. And then the road was a little bit, you know, curly, and then the Chinese Navy and me were suffered from motion sickness. So sometimes we uh, stop and get out from the car uh, in order for fresh air, and then also taking some photos. All the time, there's only one Chinese brother was driving, and um, we entered into Nakara Karabon first, and then we went to the center for the entry permit. That's how it works, and then we sit in a guest house equipped with a kitchen. So the one who was driving during the day cook, cooked us Chinese food at the night. Um, the next day, we went to a local war museum. A lady who worked there um, introduced it for us. I asked her if she feel afraid during the war days with uh, Azerbaijan. She told me uh, during the war days uh, daily they can notice that their soldiers in the TV. They were like uh, fighting in the front line in order to guard for their homeland. So she would feel guilty if she feel afraid while herself was not even in the front line. And after that, we uh, drove to Shusi and visited the main church and met some Armenian soldiers. Then we left Nagarokaramba, heading to the southern part of Armenia, Goris. We stayed in the countryside uh, family run the guest house. Then they were equipped with the kitchen, so we bought pork and, uh, and took some garlic shoot from the villager and then um, we made a Chinese cuisine. That was a blessing. Um, before the blessings gone, um, one of our teammates told us he lost his wallet. Um, just cash, document, bank cards in the wallet. And he said he put under the pillow during sleep uh, in the in Nagarokaramba and forgot to have it back in the morning. Until now, he realized. So immediately, we invited the guest house owner to help us to call the guest house owner from Nagarokaraba but it was too late no one picked up the phone so uh, then I checked online to find uh, some other ways of their contact I inboxed uh, uh, the guest house owner's wife and explained uh, everything and then you know just finger crossed hope for the best and prepared for the worst still we need to go to bed the next morning I received a reply the guest house owner's wife told us uh, she uh, she is in Yerevan at the moment, but she contacted her husband on the front wallet, and his her husband will keep it properly before we head it back. I told this to the Chinese lady, but uh, asked her not telling everyone else until we really had it back. So before heading back to Nagarokarambam, we visited the most beautiful um, monastery in Armenia, Tate. It was amazing. Then we went back to Nagarokarambam, the owner was not there. We waited and then still not there. We invited the neighbor to help us to call. So finally, the owner came back and then returned back to the wallet to our teammate, you know, just like completely nothing missed and then we were so impressed by his genuine and then we left uh, we returned uh, we left Nagarokamba heading back to the capital Yerevan and stayed in the Airbnb uh, place the next day we went to um, a nearby monastery before give the car back to the current company and then the teammates left uh, Armenia on that day so I decided to stay a little bit longer, so I was catch surfing in Yerevan. My host was a friend Yeran. I cooked for him, he really enjoyed it. And then after that I went out for sightseeing. I saw the local people doing the some memorial uh, demonstration and I visited a, the